Good evening, everybody. So glad to see you this Black Friday. Woohoo! <laughs> Amen. Uh, let's get ready and get on our feet and just start worshiping our Father, for He is good and He does everything together, works it together for our good. So let's join the worship thing together, praising our Father. Nothing black there. <laughs> no, nothing black. <laughs> let's worship. Thank you. 
destroy and kill without in fear. He comes against the sons of God, but we know in Jesus' blood there's victory. We will not be overtaken. We will not be overcome. We have pursued our enemies and conquered them on our feet. Wounded cannot rise for you, Lord. Have made us more than conquer us. We will not be overtaken. We will not be overcome. No, because of the same power that rose Jesus from the grave. The same power that commands the dead to wake. He lives in. are true in his strength there is nothing we can do yes we know there are greater things in store we will not be overtaken we will not be overcome no never the same power that was jesus from the grave the same power that commands the dead to
enter the holy place you made a way for me to enter the holy place I am yours you are mine and will be together
<laughs> Amen. Thank you, worship team. We had to change our batteries before I got up here because I realized they were dead. Uh, praise the Lord. Thanks again, worship team. It was wonderful, wonderful. Uh, as we were worshiping, I was kind of asking the Lord. I don't really have anything solid that I wanted to bring tonight. But as we're worshiping, he had me open it up to James 1, verse 3. And it was really interesting because it says, Be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance, leading to spiritual maturity in the in, and inner peace, which is really awesome. I know we all face different trials every day. I just... By living here, we walk through life, there's always something that comes up. And it is so cool when we get to see it from above and be able to rejoice because we know that through everything, he's producing something in us, a, a spiritual maturity in who we are as sons and co-heirs with him in the kingdom and really getting to understand what the power of the name of Jesus does, how it really breaks every chain, how it really sets all the captives free. It's really neat when we look from that place of peace where he puts that peace in us and helps us understand each and everything that we walk through in life, brings us a step and a step closer to him. We once were way back there, but he's, close, he's bringing us closer and closer to him, and we're so much closer than we, than we are than where we were. When we turn around, we see how far we came. You know, and we are like just steps away from really walking in, in the fullness. I mean, we are the fullness, but the awareness of walking in that fullness. And right now at this moment, I want to open it up for testimonies. If anybody has some testimonies that they want to share with us, that the Lord's been doing with them, experiences and all, anything, welcome. Yeah, I got one. You got a mic. I got a mic. This is about I want to give testimony for uh, our, our brother Joy over in um, uh, Chindigarh, India, that we were just uh, recently there. And he sent me a text. Actually, I talked to him on the phone. And uh, he had uh, just been down to the market area, and he witnessed scene talking to a, a, a Hindu man. The guy was limping. His leg was all messed up. And he was talking to him for a while, and he said, boy, this guy was really lost. And he led him to the Lord, led him to the Lord, and prayed for him and told him about where the, where the service was going to be, and gave him one of our little Reality of Sonship books that's translated into Hindi. Okay. Three days later, the guy found joy, walking perfectly. He said, I started reading this book. And this power came all over me and totally healed my leg. <laughs> that was a great, that was a great one. Who's next? All right. That's it? Are you asleep? Are you going to get up here? Are you, are you the host? <laughs> I was looking for the next high school. So, um, you know how we always stay up? Like we believe the word, we stay on the word regardless of what's happening. What usually happens to people, they get the word, they receive it, oh yes, now I got a lot of faith. And they stay here, the devil hits them. <laughs> and when they get back, they don't get back here, they get back here. I don't know what to believe anymore. Why it doesn't make sense, it's been so long, why, why, why? They don't get back here. They get hit, and on the graph they are going lower. So. You know, we, <clears throat> we always speak about, we stay on the promise. The devil cannot touch us. The devil cannot steal from us. The devil has no place in us. So I was praying over my house. I was praying with my family. And I was blessing the house and everything we had. Everything was amazing. I moved to a different place. I moved to a bad neighborhood. I was blessing the house. Everything was good. I, didn't, I never locked the the windows. I just close them or leave them like that or leave it open like that. I didn't care because I'm protected by the Lord. Everything is fine. And I believe that with all my heart. So one night we come home and nothing was right. Light in the house. 
the neighbor had the window broken in broken. So we get into the house and everything in the house was flipped upside down. Every single thing. Someone got into, slided the window, got into it. Now our laptop and tablets and stuff were not stolen. But everything was upside down. Now we found, we were looking through the stuff, we found that we were missing passports, social securities, birth certificates, my, I don't know what, some paper, because we had everything in a, in a plastic something folder, everything in, I think the guy just grabbed him. So I was mad and I was confused a little bit. I was like, why, how, how, how did he get access to my place? When this place is blessed, when he has to go through a ton of angels, living kingdom, and the Father, and the Holy Spirit, and the Lord. How did they get into here? So we blessed the guy. We had no idea who stole. Police come, came because the other place. And anyhow, so we blessed the guy. And when we spoke over, we're going to get everything back. So it looked like the guy was looking for drugs because everything in the house was taken apart. Even my fridge, my freezer. Who's going to look in the freezer, man? Everything was taken out. So we blessed the guy. We went to our vacation. We started locking the windows, obviously, because we got to be scared. And the devil is like, now we got to be really careful because you don't know when I'm going to get you again. And I got it. And then after a while, a few days, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, you're not, you don't have any windows into my soul. No, 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 no. I'm going to put all my packages to come here from Amazon. I'm going to bring everything here. I don't care. I am blessed and nothing can touch me. We went to our vacation, we came back. So um, like a week ago, we got a phone call from a person. We are from the state of, I don't know, police, whatever. They found the guy. I don't know who, and the guy broke into many places and we went on Monday to see what's going on because they were asking for our confession, I don't know what. And they showed us pictures with what they found. They found every piece of our identification. We're going to get him back in two weeks. So the mistake of that guy was that he touched the sun. So don't lose faith. Get back here. You get hit. You don't change your confession. Oh, brother, sometimes you got to be careful. No, you're protected by the Lord. If you get hit, get back in your feet and kill that sucker. The devil I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. Awesome testimony. Anybody else have any testimonies they want to share? No? All right. If not, let's get into tithing. Man, if you want to put up that slide. Uh, when we tithe, we always say this confession because the words that we confess out of our mouth have so much power. They're living words. And it's a prayer, a confession of what we do and what we believe. So join with me together as we confess this. Father, we thank you for souls being saved, the sons of God revealed, miracles and healing in abundance, increase of the dominion of life, grace and favor multiplied to us. We give with joy for the kingdom. The mountain of lack is removed. We give and we receive. Join me in prayer as we pray over these tides. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that for everything that we sow, Lord, you just multiply back and you can't wait to see how we give from our hearts, Lord, without any separation, without any withhold, Lord, whatever we set forth in our hearts, Lord, you are faithful to open up the floodgates and multiply it back. We just thank you, Lord, and we speak over every seed that is sown, Lord. We just speak over it. In return, Lord, that you open up the floodgates of heaven as you promised, Lord. And we just glorify you, Lord, with everything that we have. Amen. Amen. All right.